And welcome back on the Black and Gold Network and the uh, annual Milwaukee Basketball Tip-Off Luncheon and Media Day. I'm Kevin O'Connor alongside the radio voice of the Panther men, Bill Johnson. And Bill, hard to believe really another basketball season is here. Uh, the seasons sometimes move quickly and sometimes move slowly, but the offseason always seems to fly by. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. I'm really happy to be back. Obviously, this is uh, another fun year for the Panthers. They come in a little bit under the radar, but I, I kind of like them in that setup. Yeah, now we've uh, talked about that some, and I think that's going to be the theme in the early going is uh, we know and outsiders know of some of the guys. I, I think the intriguing thing is a lot of the guys that people like you and I might know some about, but a lot of people outside of the team and the immediate circle haven't really seen and thus don't realize uh, some of the capabilities they have. Right. When you get a new guy at point guard, it's a mystery to everybody. I mean, I think it's kind of a mystery to us, too, as to exactly what Jordan Aaron is going to be like running this team. Uh, we remember what it was the past two years with Kalen Williams running the team, and we saw what it was like when he wasn't on the floor. And it's going to be interesting to see if Jordan Aaron can be that type of a presence right away where it becomes his team. Uh, it's tough for a newcomer to do that. It even took Kalen a little while to get established in that role. So uh, I think that's going to be one of the real keys is to see Jordan Aaron and the way that he makes this his team. And I know that's a guy that a lot of the other players keep talking about because they're going to look to the point guard, get him the ball and do certain things. I think another theme is the fact this is still a group with five seniors. Now some of them haven't played a lot in their careers. Some may very well not even play a lot minutes wise this year. But when you have five seniors, guys that like Ryan Haggerty that have been around the program for that long, there is a certain leadership element you figure that this team is going to have. Well, and I swear Hags has been around longer than that. It's like he's got to be going into double digit years being with the team, but he does all the little things. I know that's something that people say about a guy that doesn't put up huge numbers, but it's really true about him. I mean, he does the, the little things. He's the floor burn guy. He's the guy that can come in and play a little defense if you need him to. He'll hit a shot for you from time to time. So he kind of fills in the cracks, but obviously James Harzma uh, is going to be one of their main scorers. I think what we saw second half of the season last year with Paris Gully uh, is what we're all really looking forward to seeing for more of a full year this year. Uh, it it's an intriguing team, and I think that the thing that's great about it is it really is a team. It's it's where you can get it from different areas and different nights, and I think that makes them tough to defend. All right, talking in closing about the rest of the league. Some teams which I think fit into the same category the Panthers do. A lot of guys that I get the feeling like at a Loyola with Cully Payne, maybe some guys Gary Waters has around at Cleveland State. There are teams under the radar that think they're going to be pretty good, but then we also know there's the quantities like Valpo, Detroit, or Green Bay, who have a lot of people we do recognize back. It just strikes me as though the league top to bottom as deep as we've seen it in a long time. Yeah, I think so. I mean, when you talk about Valpo and the way that they swept to the conference title last year and uh, with Brokoff back and with Van Vyke being a big that just does so many things that nobody else does in the conference, that's huge. I think Alec Brown coming back for his junior year up in Green Bay, a big that gets the ball inside but can hit his free throws. I think that's so important, plus a shot-blocking presence. Kiefer Sykes, we saw how athletic he can be at the point. You want to talk about an under-the-radar team, though? How about Youngstown State uh, with Damian Ergel, uh, who's on that all uh, the preseason all-conference team. Uh, but those two guards that they have coming back as well, and Perry and Allen, that's a team, and we found out last year how difficult it is to go into Youngstown and win. Uh, especially on their home floor, but even on the road, those guys can score a lot of points in a short period of time. And you mentioned Loyola. You can't get much more under the radar than those guys, but with Averkamp and, and Cully Payne, they've got some real talent. Yeah, and you mentioned Youngstown. I mean, you remember just even the game here last year, the kind of points they put up. Um, then in closing about the Panthers, the non-conference part of it, some great I think any time that you go in and play an SEC school, uh, we've had the opportunity to do that a few times. Uh, they'll go in and take on South Carolina. I think that that's going to be a, a great challenge for them. They take on Bo Ryan in Wisconsin. That's always a special game for the fans and a special game for the staff because of the connections that they have with those guys. Uh, I think that their non-conference schedule is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, another trip back to Little Rock. 
uh, which was a, a big road win for them last season. So yeah, it's it's intriguing. I think I think the non-conference is going to be a, a great test and a and a great way for them to get ready for the Horizon League schedule. Bill, I know we get the uh, the radio season underway here very shortly. Looking forward to seeing you at all the games and uh, working with you on the road again this year. Absolutely, Kevin. Thank you very much, and thanks to all the fans for coming out.